Hi, I'm Mark from Michigan. I will not be voting for the incumbent president in 2020. Since 18, I voted for Nixon, Ford, uh, Reagan, George H.W. The culture wars and the uh, moral majority, uh, abandonment of what I thought were the red letters in the good book, uh, just moved me away from the Republican Party. And I did not vote uh, Republican in 2016. Uh, when the Republican challenger won, I gave him a chance. But as Michelle Obama says, being president doesn't change who you are. It reveals who you are. And I think we know who he is. He may have limited skills, but don't underestimate his two greatest skills. And that's exploiting weakness and knowing how and when to divide. His level of respect and mannerisms and verbal abuse and history towards women is appalling. The military or props were made weaker when he doesn't listen to intelligence. He bear, embarrasses us at uh, national sacred places and international places. He disempowers the military by pardoning war criminals, steals money from the military, families, for his vanity projects, threatens governors with, with military force in the street with his Secretary of Defense talking about uh, battle spaces and a Joint Chief of Staff in camo. He can't let the dead rest. Who insults the dead? There's never been a president who doesn't struggle with the free press. He rails against fake news. It's his code for, I'm right, everybody else should be depressed or suppressed. It's a direct assault on First Amendment rights. Can't even begin to talk about his treatment of the law and the Constitution. You may have noticed that I have not used the president's name but I will fully endorse someone whose name I'm proud to use. He's had a lifetime of tragedy that has given him an empathy and sympathy we need now. He understands the legislature and sat eight years next to a real president. He is prepared to move us forward towards a greater union. Sadly, the current president knows only grievance, division, and avarice. I will proudly vote for Joe Biden this year.